Hello, my name is Dave Stukas. I'm a pediatric allergist and I work at Nationwide Children's Hospital and The Ohio State University College of Medicine in Columbus, Ohio. I'm going to talk to you about IgG or immunoglobulin G testing. When we think about testing for allergies, it's really important to distinguish the different types of responses that can occur. Immunoglobulins, also known as antibodies, and abbreviated as Ig, are involved in our immune system when we fight off infections, but they're also involved when we have hypersensitivity or allergic reactions to different things in the environment. This can include ragweed, dog dander, or food allergens such as peanut. A food allergy or other allergic response is caused by an IgE antibody reacting towards that allergen. When bodies make IgE and it's bound to the allergy cells throughout the body, when that allergen is encountered in real life, the IgE unlocks those allergy cells and releases the contents which cause all the characteristic symptoms of an allergic reaction. If you have a food allergy, it can cause rapid onset hives, itching, swelling, rash, vomiting, wheezing, what we call anaphylaxis. Other immunoglobulins are involved in fighting off infections. IgA is an antibody that lives on the surface of our mucous membranes, inside our sinus cavities and lungs, and it helps protect our respiratory tract as sort of a first line of defense. IgM is a, the initial antibody or immunoglobulin that's formed as we encounter infection or vaccines for the first time. And then lastly, IgG is the workhorse antibody. IgG is the soldier, it's the memory antibody. This is what gets called into the fight when we fight off an infection. So if we vaccinate somebody towards something like influenza, their body initially forms an IgM antibody, and a couple of weeks later it mounts an IgG response. Then if that person encounters influenza, IgG gets called to the fight where it binds up the influenza and fights it off, preventing severe infection. So IgG is a known memory antibody. Problems occur when people use IgG testing in the context of food allergies, food intolerances, or food sensitivities. IgG is formed, as we just mentioned, when our bodies encounter different things. It's a normal response to eating foods. But there are many tests that are being touted as demonstrating food sensitivity or intolerance that include IgG testing. Well, we know from People who have IgE food allergies, if they undergo immunotherapy and a desensitization process, or if they develop tolerance to their food allergy over time, their IgE response goes down over time, and their IgG response goes up. So as the allergy goes away and they develop tolerance, they form more IgG. I hope that makes sense because it can be very confusing. Long story short, any tests out there that state that they determine food sensitivity or intolerance and they measure food-specific IgG are merely measuring a normal response to the foods that are eaten in the diet. We have no idea how to interpret these tests. There's no reason to do these tests, and I recommend that everybody save their money. For more information, please visit the website www.aaaai.org. Thank you.